Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel Ping out you come Hope you guys are all well and as it probably says on the tin on the thumbnail we are off show jumping it's sunday morning it is uh, fairly it's about 20 past nine i think um just realized that i have only got one charge battery for the camera so quickly coming to put that on charge knowing me i probably end up forgetting it but yes it is sunday and i have entered Addy and myself in, oh, I'm not even in it. Addy and myself in to some shoe jumping today, which I'm excited about. I've entered two classes, which last time when we did a competition, we did arena eventing. So it was only like to do one class. Talking of the devil. Hello. You didn't really see me yesterday, did you? I went off eventing with Uncle Banksy. Oh, you give me evil. Oh, hello. <laughs> see. <laughs> Something through there. What is it? Oh, Spidey's seen it too. Oh, she's had a little mane trim up. She's looking actually quite smart, like a proper little pony. Um, so I went off eventing with Tina and Banks, and they absolutely aced it. I'm sure the vlog is probably out by now, so make sure that you check that out. I then had a hen do last night. Um, well, yesterday evening, really. Tina, thankfully, came and picked me up. Not that late, about half past ten, um, because obviously I knew that we were doing this this morning, so I didn't want to be too hungover. And I'm pleased to report I am not. I was actually sensible for a change, but yeah, no, it was a good night. It was for Chris's cousin. He's get she's she's getting married in May, so I actually need to get one and get my outfit sorted. But anyhow, I've just realised that mum and dad are heading out and I obviously need dad's help when it comes to loading. Tina is meeting me out there, very thankful to her. And mum and dad are leaving to go out at 10 o'clock. Like I say, it's 20 past nine. So that has suddenly made me what well, I was going to aim to leave for half past 10. So, yeah, kind of uh, going to have to obviously leave a little bit earlier. I might take my grooming brushes with me and actually groom her when I get there. So I now need to not rush, but I haven't got that long. So get the car loaded, standard sort of procedure, car loaded, ponies in. I'm hoping it's going to be a nice, short, sweet vlog. The 60 has no fillers and the 70 have got fillers. So my aim of today is obviously just get her going around it's only show jumps hopefully she should be well she will be she'll be all okay um and maybe we push into that canter a little bit today just see how she is maybe not so much in the first round maybe more in the second and that's why i wanted to enter two so it kind of just reinforced it again and solidified like going in and doing a course and also it's good practice because quite often when you do go show jumping you tend to do two classes don't you and i think the second one the first one is just a bit like they're taking it all in and then the second one maybe they can actually concentrate a little bit more but yeah camera down get loaded the car up get the ponies in and uh, we will reconvene we are ready to go very quick turnaround let's just go drop this all in the car make sure dad's in position and get loaded up and go I say, very quick turnaround. This is going to be a very short and sweet vlog. Put in a nice, fresh, big, nice smelling haylage. Hay net. Haylage, hay net. Hay net full of haylage. Oh, there's a few spots of rain. Please don't rain on me. I don't think I've got a coat. <laughs> She's in. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, uh, next stop, cold rain. Hi, sweetheart. Is that nice smelling haylage? I can smell that. It smells lovely. We have arrived. That going. I'm looking very nicely fresh and harrowed. Thinking about leaving her in there whilst I go and walk the course. Good girl. You're okay. A bit like what we did at Chiverton Park. So <laughs> it's starting to rain. Walk away slowly. It's all very calm and chill. Number 10 and on to number 11 the finish. It looks like an awful lot of jumps in this arena. So many. 
but they why I thought it was perfect for Addy today is that they are actually starting down at 40 centimeters so as you can see everybody can have a go I don't know if anybody is in the 40 or 50 but we're as I mentioned in the 60 and 70 so the 60 up to 60 40 50 and 60 don't have any fillers in them none of the bricks or anything like that which I think will be really nice for Addy just to sort of get going because I think she's going to come up here even though we've done arena eventing just seems like there are loads of show jumps in here when I first came up I was like whoa but um yeah no it's nice nice flowing course one to two round to three a b the double turn right four five around here then number six the yellow black and white left turn to seven right turn to eight which is right there nine and then as I've just walked ten and eleven I'll be honest whether I should or shouldn't. I haven't walked any striding, of course, because we'll probably be trotting. <laughs> so how do you how do you count your trot strides? But no, we're just coming up here just to just to get her out, deal with the atmosphere, although I think it's gonna be nice and quiet because it is so early on in the day. And in half an hour we'll be on and then We'll jump our first round then we've only got about 20 minutes so it'll be the case of i might just take her back to the box get off her so she understands to sort of stop breathe and then literally only pop a couple more fences in the warm-up and come back up for our second round which is about 20 minutes after our first so yeah that is the course i feel like i've learned it getting my head a little bit more back into the game of learning courses because it definitely you like can be out of practice and like feel like you have to go through it multiple multiple times but no it's looking nice nice and flowing so uh, yeah and uh, Addy has stayed in the box and hopefully he's still all okay Addy you're winding the boys up Ooh, yeah. being so pretty being pretty and possibly coming into season but <laughs> go stand for a minute will we Addy Ooh. right which camera am I using today I'm doing an Emily and trying to multitask hey at least you had Lisa's help yesterday I know it did <laughs> Although, how many times did my camera battery die on her? What's the little man with a flag mean on this? A little green man, and then a flag pops up. I've never seen that before. Would you like me to come in and do it? I'd like to She thinks she's cross country and still. <laughs> Your little face. Zoomies. Might wear Emily and Martin Gale for a birthday, but that's not till November. She's smiling. Good girl. the counter transition. Guess who forgot their body protector because they were packing for show jumping.
Nice. In case you didn't hear, I just said it's weird. I've got to get used to hearing her name on the tannoy <laughs> as you're going into an arena. Anyways, I wasn't sure whether to do a voiceover, leave it raw, put music over it. So I thought I would do a mixture um, between the two rounds. So the first round I'm going to voice over and then I'm going to leave the second round raw. So we've just gone over our first jump of the 60 centimetres. And <laughs> it was the here where the filler was actually to the right hand side of the jump, which was more spooky than I think if it was under the jump. But thankfully, because we're just trotting, it's enough. And because they're small enough, it's fine then here you can see she was just a bit wobbly through the double and I don't know whether because she was focused on the second part of the double she then forgot what to do with her back legs on the first part so we just had that down unfortunately but then here she's jumping nice and she is like actually pulling me and wanting to canter that stride she did find something spooky down this side of the arena I just tried to ignore her and just keep focused on the fence that we were jumping um, and keep looking I think that was to fence six jump that one nicely we cant around this corner I'm really pleased with how she went past like the gate like where we've come in and out she really didn't have any nappiness or anything she was just keen to do her job <laughs> a bit disunited there and again, just a little bit. And here it was even more important to get into that corner because of course fence eight is along that side down there. But thankfully we got enough straightness and you can see that she again just cantered the last couple of strides. So I stayed in that canter to fence nine and then kept, and here I probably didn't need to bring her back if I'm honest, but yeah, she kind of then wanted to canter anyway. So I let her go and finished very, very, very nicely. <laughs> Round one was very, very good, wasn't it, Addy Buddy? And I've just been chilling and not really... I thought you were trying to drill that out of not being her nickname. Addy Buddy, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can't help but say it. Um, very, very good. Just the one down, I think, just a bit with the double. Maybe just need a little, little bit of double practice or something, because we don't do it very often. Um, and I think she was like, oh, there's another one. But you were very keen and wanting to actually jump from a canter, so... Mum's going to let you go a little bit more now. There's fillers in this round, but I don't think she's going to be phased, as Tina's just told me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, do we? She just wants to jump. She does just want to jump. She enjoyed that. I can feel you enjoyed it. <laughs> I did too, actually. It was good fun. And I'm proud of you. And no stupidly high, humongous ones? No. Nope. Nice jumps. Clearing nice them just jumps. by a little bit. Like you need to. Yeah, yeah. no yeah. excess energy required. We're just going to pop back in to the warm-up. Jump the cross, jump the... Are you eating my whip? <laughs> um, jump the cross, jump the straight, and jump the spread, and then go back up again. And that's you all done. Same again, please. <laughs> now in the ring is Emily Dunstan with Silver Linings Aphrodite. Good girl. Trust her. Yeah. Such an honest little mare. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. <laughs> Emily, don't look back at your fence. <laughs> Yes. Good girl. Well done. What's that? Such a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Go on. Good girl. Good girl. Look at the fence, Addy Good girl. Good girl. Well done, Em. Well done, Em.
them. How good was that? That was an unlucky pole as well. Wasn't she good? She was tired awesome. I think, as well. She didn't look tired, she looked speedy speedy. Not okay. speedy speedy, but I was trying nice. my hardest not to interfere and just let yeah. her go, so. And like when you were like, not that one, that one. <laughs> it's coming round Clever. the Clever, she enjoyed it. When I first walked her in, I thought I'll make her look at number two where there's like one filler underneath. And then because we walk, don't we? And then we trot the last few strides, she was like, oh, here we go. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you clever pony, I'm so proud of you. Oh. <laughs> she definitely enjoys her jumping. Doesn't she? <laughs> Good girl, oh, I'm Addy. I'm so proud of her. That was all in candor. Uh, all in candor. I know. Brilliant. Oh, she says I'm soiled now. It's quite a lot for her to like to take in, isn't it? Yeah. Clever pony. She's just so, yeah. So chilled. And much better through the double. She was like, oh, yeah, I know what I'm doing through this double. Yeah. Now. Clever. She didn't deserve to have that one down. No. <laughs> Good girl. Not that it matters. No, I think that's just sometimes. Because you're just so unbalanced, aren't you, in the county? And you can't. I think you'll be surprised when you watch it back. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Oh. Clever looks. Sweaty ears. Well, she's like, let me rub on you. Yeah. I'm trying to carry everything, but we're home! Oh, you were such a sweetheart! Super girl! Oh. Reiki, I really am trying to carry trying to carry these batteries round to charge them because I've got another vlog to carry on filming in a minute. Um oh, I can't do this. Hold on, let's um, tie her up a minute. Actually, let's just put that on the floor there. You're a superstar! Mommy's so proud of you! Oh, I'm so proud of her. I'm beaming. I am absolutely beaming. I've been wanting to sort of take that plunge to canter, and I know that sounds so ridiculous, like cantering a full round. But I've not known whether it's the right time, because you obviously, when you canter, you canter, and I don't quite have the say of shortening or lengthening or anything like that now. So I never know whether it's the right thing to do or wrong thing, but you were showing me that you were clearly ready to canter today, wasn't you? Like the last couple, like last stride before each fence, she was then wanting to canter. So I was like, actually, I think we're ready. So I went for it. Absolutely went for it. And that's what's nice. They're smaller. She was not phased whatsoever by any of the fillers. She was more down in the bottom right hand of the arena if I was being really picky there was something down there that you just didn't quite like but just so good around like past the gate and actually wanting to do it you were actually getting quite strong because you wanted to do it you enjoy your jumping don't you which is just so nice and it makes me enjoy it and as I mentioned when we first came out maybe Addy's gonna be the pony that's gonna make me love show jumping are you gonna be that one are you you're very tired now it's an awful lot for her to go and do two rounds but a good tiredness if you know what i mean she learned that she had to stand there wait her turn go back into the warm-up warm up again and i just think that's all things like when you go eventing you've got to do your dressage your show jump and your cross country so it's all such good practice standing on the box again i don't feel like i'm so nervous about that anymore or worry about you um yeah, it's all, it's all piecing together, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's tie you up a minute. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Tied up. I did give you a wash off whilst we're there. Um, and you haven't actually, thankfully, got too sweated out. Take her boots off. Um, and yeah, I'll give you a little brush off when you've dried off a little bit. And I think that'll do you, my sweetheart. I don't think I've actually got anything else left. Like, even this, like, spitey is just there. Thank you. Oh. With what she won because I was dropping everything, so we came third in the 60, and then no, yeah, third in the 60, sixth in the 70. Oh, careful, darling, careful. Um, so yeah, you've got your first frillies, and you're not afraid of these either, are you? No, okay. definitely not. She would actually quite like to eat them, she thinks they might taste quite nice. Uh, so yeah. First rosette for you, because you're super stuck pony. Oh, I'm just, like I say, I haven't really got anything else left to say. Thank you, Tina, for coming up. Dad for helping me load. 
and Becky for filming, Emma for filming. <laughs> I've got loads of footage of the rounds from all different angles, haven't we? And I can't wait to go and watch it. Oh, I have had a little sneaky look on the camera and part on Tina's phone. But yeah, no, I am absolutely buzzing. A fabulous, fabulous pony weekend actually with Tina acing eventing yesterday and now Addy acing her shoe jumping today. I might even get a little selfie with you actually in a minute, might not I? Because you look like you might actually stay still. <laughs> oh, you itchy, you want me to itch? You itchy, yeah. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Oh, I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. I hope you guys, I'm, I'll stop buzzing, blabbing on. Hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog, short and sweet, I hope. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Yeah, that's right, Spritey. And until next time, don't know what else we've got coming up, but until then, we will see you very, very soon, won't we? Yeah, say bye to the vlog. Say bye. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs>